but it seems to fit with the theme. Basically, the show is about when I was little, I, I wanted to be a boy. I uh, thought that would be a better way to be. I don't think that anymore. I'm very happy to be <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, so it's kind of me dealing with wanting to be a boy and not understanding female beauty and gender and body hair. It's particularly about body hair. So I really enjoyed um, the poem before that was, that was in reference to body hair. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. It doesn't have a name because it's just a part of the show. <laughs> Have you ever asked your mum to shave your back? Twisted yourself into a spiral, trying to know the ugliness lurking behind you like a kick me sign from God. Everyone asked if it's because I'm half Muslim. How can you be half Muslim? Everyone in school knew. The news spread like a Chinese whisper, Pokemon cards, an eggy fart. The heads bobbed together like dandelions pulled faces and laughter, popping candy on outstretched tongues. But I just learnt more Chinese burns, WWF moves and your mum jokes like your mum is so fat that she wears the equator as a belt and your mum is so tall that when she did a cartwheel she kicked Jesus out of the sky and your mum is so ugly that she took a bath and then the water jumped out. <laughs> when I wanted to tie my shoelaces then I had to find a wall to brace against and roly polies felt different like the day that you noticed that McDonald's chips taste of nothing. Why do people always feel the need to comment on your body as though you don't see yourself every day? I used to stand in front of a misted mirror, fingers rearranging my face, trying to be someone else. So after trying to shave alone, I asked my mum to help me. Pretty please with chocolate sprinkles and strawberry sauce on top and she said no. So I washed the dishes, gave her sardines and hibiscus tea in bed, tried to give her a kiss on the cheek and she said don't come to me with your judah self. I'd even complain when she said go and get the phone, go and get the address book, go and get my glasses, when she could have asked for all three in one go. And some days she just looked through me like my daddy was a glassmaker. But that day, she looked at me hard, face like the pointer broom that we used to brush the porch before finally giving in. And that night, I saw my mum cry for the first time. Her tears were brighter than the blood that seeped out of that serpentine cut at the right of my spine. Thank you.